Okay, so a few weeks ago, Kim and I were in this studio and she made a beautiful dance. I was so happy about that shot and I thought it would be interesting to explain the technical side of that, so how we managed to do this dance sequence. I work with tons of cameras and that's a way for me to capture images in a way that is not possible with a single camera. For this one, I wanted to produce a single straight long sequence of Kim dancing with no cuts. We went with 6 iterations of the 176 cameras, which means 1056 images total. In many of my previous shots, all of the cameras are triggered at the same time and this is how I freeze the time. But to create longer videos, I need to trigger the cameras one after the other and loop a few times. I went with a 10 millisecond interval as this is the fastest speed I can go when doing multiple iterations. The real-time capture lasts only 10.3 seconds. I trigger the cameras from behind that black wall using my gamepad and during the capture I'm throwing some smoke in the shot and that was on purpose, this is exactly what I was looking for. I have this remote trigger here and I simply press the button. When the triggering is completed, all the files are automatically getting transferred to the main computer. The images are digitally calibrated and then we can see the final video. The only process that I applied is some minor color grading and a deflicker filter. The playback duration is 44 seconds, which is about four times what it took to capture that dance sequence. Now, the next step is going to be able to play a soundtrack at a slow speed during the capture so Kim can know the precise timing and fit her dance movement with the beat. Once we get this, we'll go for a much longer one. But until then, we'll continue to play with various lights, moods and timings. 